The Entertainment Press is an entertainment blog. The article titled, The Negative Effects of Hip-Hop, Toxic Masculinity, Homophobia, and Brainwashing, was published on Friday, November 17, 2023. This video is an audio companion of that article. It reads, Introduction. It's November 2023 but it was August 11, 2023 that marked the 50th anniversary of the culture-shifting hip-hop genre. Hip-hop emerged as a cultural movement in African-American and Latino communities in the 1970s and 1980s, providing a platform for marginalized groups to express their experiences, struggles, and aspirations. Hip-Hop Saved My Life, was the title of a 2008 single by rapper Lupe Fiasco. Unfortunately, that phrase does not deal well with the reality many have been forced to face as a result of hip-hop being in existence. Nothing personal against anyone who has benefited from the genre it just that hip-hop did not save everyone's life. As a matter of a fact, many lives have been lost because of it including many of the lives of many people who have chosen rap music as their profession or a way of life. In the 90s, notable figures such as C. Dolores Tucker, Bill Clinton and Dionne Warwick were on the front lines of the war against hip-hop subgenre, gangster rap. However, the genre prevailed past the backlash and continued to have major impact on not only the youth of the past and present but as well the older generations as well. Hip-hop music and its culture have undoubtedly gained immense popularity over the years. While it has served as a vehicle for artistic expression, social commentary, and empowerment, it is important to acknowledge the negative aspects that have evolved within hip-hop's influence. This essay will explore the adverse consequences of hip-hop's impact on masculinity, the perpetuation of homophobia, and the distorted public perception of masculinity and hip-hop culture. Masculinity in hip-hop. Hip-hop has often portrayed masculinity through hyper-sexualized, aggressive, and violent imagery. This portrayal reinforces harmful stereotypes surrounding masculinity, fostering a culture where toughness and aggression are overemphasized. This obsession with hypermasculinity can fuel toxic expectations for young males who may feel pressured to conform to a narrow definition of what it means to be a man within hip-hop culture. This focus on aggression can contribute to an increase in violence and gang-related activities. Hip-hop's influence on shaping masculinity is a complex phenomenon with various factors at play. However, it was significant enough to become a prominent influence on masculinity. As a parent, male or female, relying on hip-hop music and rap videos to mold your child's, boy or girl, views and values on manhood and masculinity is irresponsible and dangerous. No one should be parenting except parents. Young boys especially need to discover their own self-worth apart from the influence of hip-hop and entertainment. Fu also need to know they don't need the influence of rap music to become a masculine heterosexual male adult. They need to know they have other outlets for masculine inspiration besides the genre as well. Unhealthy obsession with hip-hop. People's unhealthy obsession with hip-hop and rap music can be characterized by their excessive and often obsessive consumption of this genre. This obsession often leads to neglecting other important aspects of their lives and can result in detrimental consequences. People may excessively idolize hip-hop and rap artists, treating them as role models and imitating their lifestyle and behavior. This can lead to individuals adopting harmful habits or attitudes, such as glorifying violence, materialism, and substance abuse. The unhealthy obsession with hip-hop and rap culture may overshadow the importance of personal growth and finding positive role models, leading to a detrimental impact on emotional well-being and social behavior. Additionally, an excessive obsession with hip-hop and rap music may contribute to a narrow viewpoint or understanding of society and culture. People may fixate solely on the recreational aspects of the genre, disregarding its historical, political, and social significance. This limited perspective may prevent individuals from engaging in critical thinking and understanding the broader context in which this music exists. An unhealthy obsession with hip-hop and rap music can lead to an imbalance in life priorities, limiting personal growth, and promoting harmful behaviors and attitudes.
It is important for individuals to diversify their musical taste and engage in a balanced lifestyle that encompasses various aspects of culture, art, and personal development. Hypermasculinity in hip-hop. Some elements within hip-hop culture portray hypermasculine ideals, emphasizing dominance, aggression, material wealth, and objectification of women. Women who oddly gravitate towards men who have this oppressive nature and turns them into victims. These portrayals have influenced some men to associate these behaviors and attitudes with masculinity. However, it is crucial to recognize that hip-hop, like any cultural movement, features a range of diverse expressions and does not represent a monolithic view of masculinity. Homophobia in hip-hop. Another consequence of hip-hop's influence is the persistent homophobia present in its lyrics and attitudes. From homophobic slurs to derogatory remarks, hip-hop artists have all too often targeted the LGBTQ community. This perpetuation of homophobia not only marginalizes and stigmatizes members of the LGBTQ community but also creates a hostile environment where self-expression and acceptance are discouraged. It also harms men or women who may not identify as LGBTQ or who may not even be homosexual at all. Anyone can be labeled gay for any nonsensical reason and no one would dispute it or protect them from being disowned and outcast because of it. It's complete ignorance and insanity. It is essential to address and challenge these homophobic lyrics and attitudes within the genre, promoting inclusivity and respect for all individuals. Public acceptance and perception of hip-hop. The influence of hip-hop extends well beyond the confines of the music itself. It affects cultural perceptions and public acceptance of both the genre and masculinity. Hip-hop culture, particularly portrayed in mainstream media, can often be overshadowed by stereotypes that emphasize negative aspects such as crime, violence, and materialism. As a result, society's perception of both hip-hop culture and masculinity becomes skewed. The media's focus on these negative stereotypes dismisses the true diversity and depth present in both the genre and the individuals who participate in it. It is crucial to acknowledge the multifaceted nature of hip-hop and masculinity rather than perpetuating these damaging misconceptions. Conclusion. It is essential to note that while hip-hop has had a significant influence on shaping masculinity, it is not the sole determinant of what masculinity is. Masculinity is a complex and multifaceted concept influenced by various historical, cultural, and societal factors. While hip-hop has undoubtedly made significant positive contributions to music and culture, it is essential to address and challenge the adverse effects it can have on masculinity, perpetuation of homophobia, and public perception. By encouraging and promoting a more inclusive and tolerant hip-hop culture, we can begin to dismantle the harmful stereotypes, expectations and brainwashing that has evolved over time. It is through a collective effort that we can redefine masculinity, break barriers, and foster a more understanding and accepting society for a better outcome and brighter future for us all.